When in 2021, one of the biggest scandals in Korean entertainment erupted, it seemed like Kim Jisoo, who was one of the most beloved promising actors, ended up disappearing from the face of the earth overnight. Now, two years later, he finally opened up about his experience of being accused by multiple people of horrible behavior. And it seems like there might be a chance for him to return to the industry after all. In March of 2021, Kim Jisoo was starring in the drama River Where the Moon Rises. The drama hadn't been finished yet at the time, and the filming was still ongoing despite it being released weekly. No one expected that there would be a sudden halt to the filming in a way of its main lead being accused of disgusting misconduct. On March 2nd, Jisoo's name appeared in hundreds of articles after an anonymous netizen shared a post in which they revealed a detailed story of how actor Kim Jisoo used to torment his schoolmates both male and female. In their post, they wrote, I was mistreated by Kim Jisoo and the delinquents in 2008, my third year of middle school. The word is not enough to describe everything. I was a victim of all kinds of school violence like being made an outcast, blackmailing, insults, and harmful language. This wasn't the only thing they wrote as they went on to detail how the process of mistreatment supposedly started. The accuser wrote, It started when B, one of the delinquents in Kim Jisoo's group, took another student's gift certificate. I went to B and said I'd report them to the police if they didn't return the gift certificate. This behavior of mine was an act of opposition. After that, my ordinary middle school life turned into horror itself. They were careful, perhaps because I told them I'd report them to the police. They craftily ordered other classmates to hurt me so they could stay out of trouble. Of course, the original accuser claimed that Jisoo had an advantage in hurting the other students because he had a bigger build, and from 2007 forward, he would roar the school as a delinquent with his group of friends. The accuser revealed that the group of students which Jisoo was part of was extremely systematic and would repeatedly target the same people. They continued with saying, First of all, picking a fight with Kim Jisoo and the delinquent was unthinkable. If any member of that group experienced something even a little bit unpleasant, all of them would go and beat that person up, trampling over them in an insulting and thorough way. Now, these accusations weren't light, but the poster shared that their experience wasn't the worst as there were many other victims who suffered horribly at the hands of Jisoo. At the time, the accuser had probably no clue that this would open a Pandora's box and many other alleged victims would come forward to reveal their chilling stories of mistreatment. However, this original accuser didn't ask for an apology or compensation. They wanted only one thing from Jisoo, and that was, Kim Jisoo, if acting is what you want to do, do it. But keep the title of school violence perpetrator in front of your name forever in your heart. Like me, the countless number of people you hurt will never forget that memory. Once this statement was out, two other people came forward and shared similar experiences with Jisoo, including being hit and verbally harassed. Jisoo's then agency Key East immediately addressed the accusations by saying that they were looking into them and were treating them in a a serious manner. At the time, little did we know that this wasn't the last time Jisoo would be accused of something. In a few hours, Jisoo was accused of inappropriately touching women, being a cheater and a womanizer, filming himself having inappropriate relations with others in school bathrooms and making weaker students do either inappropriate deeds for him or stealing their money for lunch. As you can imagine, this would harm anyone's image and Jisoo was no exception. No matter how much people loved him and his roles, they demanded answers. He published a handwritten letter on March 4th, 2021, in which he apologized to the victims he hurt. He shared that he was grateful for the love and attention he received as an actor, but that his actions as a student were not excusable and nothing could change the past. He admitted that he made a lot of mistakes in school, and due to that, he stepped down from the drama river where the moon rises so that he wouldn't cause more damage to it. After he was basically forced to leave the drama, Jisoo was replaced by actor Na In Woo, and the production company had to refilm not only all six existing episodes that included Jisoo, but also the rest of the footage that was already ready to be edited and used. According to the production company, Jisoo's scandal caused them severe damages and financial loss, and therefore they sued his agency Key East for 3 billion Korean won. Eventually, as a result of this huge scandal, Jisoo wasn't only dropped by the public, but by his agency as well. Key East wanted to have nothing to do with Jisoo's scandal, as it was also ruining their reputation. Now, there was little he could do to change everyone's opinion at the time. Jisoo Jisoo went into hiding, kept a low profile so that he wouldn't be seen in public, and it was announced that he would quietly enlist in the military to fulfill his duties. Before he did so, though, he hired lawyers who investigated the accusations. The thing is that even though Jisoo admitted that he wasn't a great person in school, he strictly denied any accusations of inappropriate relations with men and women, in a sense that he never forced them to do something for him with their bodies. These accusations ended up completely overshadowing the original accuser who claimed that Jisoo was a 
delinquent, and it took his lawyers only a few months to reveal the truth. And the truth was that the accusations were completely false. As you can imagine, such a revelation puts doubt into everyone's head. If the accuser who claimed that Jisoo would force people to do inappropriate things with him lied, what about the rest of the accusers? The first accusations remain pretty much valid, but the one about Jisoo doing all these horribly inappropriate things to women and men turned out to be false. What happened was that once Jisoo threatened to take legal action against the false accusations, the person who first came out with them reached out to him and apologized while admitting to making it up. However, the situation was getting out of hand as people continued to use the accusations and spread them around, changing the narrative. It was revealed that the person who was behind these accusations didn't even attend Jisoo's school and had no relations with him whatsoever. In other words, the story was fabricated. Interestingly, Jisoo's scandal and many other controversies from 2021 caused a big shift in the Korean entertainment industry. In the following months, many production companies called for a change of contracts with actors. The reason is that the Korean public immediately stopped supporting a project in which an actor who has been accused of misconduct appears. An insider from the industry revealed that the new contracts signed in recent years have changed and actors are now responsible for paying for the damages, but the old contracts with actors don't have this clause. Therefore, if an actor who isn't a rookie ends up in a scandal, they're not obliged to pay damages to the production company they worked with. The Korean public was very eager to accept this change as they claimed that the industry should blacklist all the celebrities that were delinquents in school. Now, Jisoo has something to say as well. He has recently returned from the military and finally opened up about what happened. On October 23rd, he sat down with Sports Chosen to answer all the questions. At first, Jisoo was asked if the stories of him relieving himself in the class were true and he strongly denied them. Jisoo answered, I have never done that before. Does something like that happen in reality? It's all false. He then went on to say that in the seventh grade, he was treated like a stranger and in the eighth grade stood up for one of his friends who was being hurt. Due to that, he received a beating as well and eventually the group who hurt him apologized to him and that's how they started to hang out together. This isn't the only thing Jisoo opened up about as he also revealed that he personally met with the original accuser who was the first one to open up about their experience with Jisoo. According to Jisoo, they are are now both on good terms and are supporting each other. He shared, I met with A and talked with him for a long time. He thought I ostracized him from the other students because I was close with B, a student who was involved in the gift certificate theft. It's true I was close with B at that time. So I think A thought I was involved in the incident. We talked about the misunderstandings and we resolved the issue that I was not involved. Jisoo said that he couldn't really explain himself before his enlistment as he shared that at the time River Where the Moon Rises was airing and he had to drop out of it to not cause any more harm to the series. Series. But when all of this was happening, he had already received his military enlistment notice, so there was no chance for him to properly clear his name. It's unknown whether Jisoo will return to the industry, but it's very likely that he will get another chance, because many of the accusations were proven to be false, and he's now on good terms with the first accuser who started the whole scandal. It's also pretty clear that Jisoo took his time to change and reflect on his actions, so it would be only fair to give him a chance to show his true self. Share your thoughts on the scandal in the comments below, and thank you for watching.